know, if you weren't working on it, you didn't talk about it. Certainly no one saw drawings, no one saw anything. It was black ops. People said, it's impossible, you can't do it. And for years we were very secretive about how we made it. We had it in this bunker and we still are. They didn't even tell us who they were. The X-Metal itself, they would put on three or four different trucks to get it here so that the original truck driver didn't know where it was going and the end truck driver didn't know where it came from. We've come to the realization that nobody in their right mind would ever try and copy it. It's just too effing hard. During that time when uh, everybody was experimenting with the titanium, there was a uh, story running around that we had an explosion and blew a forklift through one of the walls. Each of the furnaces that we use has the potential for about uh, 20 sticks of dynamite. And we're insane. That's the best explanation I can have. You get to work with guys like Jim who pull out all the stops and go full pedal to the metal to get the job done. It's pretty special. You don't get to do that very often in your life. Jim wanted these frames to be the ultimate, so they aesthetically are beautiful, mechanically incredible, and x metal allows us to design sculptural forms with aerospace tolerances with a crazy strength to weight ratio. No other eyewear manufacturer uses this technology the way we do because they don't really have the understanding or the uh, dedication to purpose beyond reason that we do. It allows us to create just about anything we want without the weight penalties and thickness penalties associated with metal design. It's somewhat of a difficult material to work with compared to steel, compared to aluminum, but the properties are such that it's much more desirable. Titanium is the perfect application for it. It's just such a difficult process and material to work with to get it into the form that we've put it into. There's no way that frame is going to break. It's virtually indestructible. We've driven over it with a tank. So if we were to make the same X-Metal frame out of steel, it'd weigh 10 pounds. You couldn't wear it. It'd just be too heavy. The frame, though it's stiff, is flexible enough and has a great three-point fit to conform to everyone's face. We have sections of our body that do not flex or bend, but you've got joints and hinges. It's somewhat of a unique feature that that's designed in. It's like 10 projects rolled into one. Every step of the process, whether it's the ceramic cores or whether you're the tooling that has so many complex slides in it, or even casting the titanium part, I mean, all that stuff that we were told you could never do. Each one of those processes were impossible. You know, you can count the X-Metal project on one hand because they're so complex and they're so time consuming. You know, it's almost like you have to hand chisel these things. I mean, it really is like making jewelry. One pair of glasses, uh, once we are in the production mode, takes about three weeks. There's over 27 different machining operations that take place uh, to finish a pair of glasses, and over 75 pair of hands that touch it before it's done. What we wanted to really do was wrap that lens in an absolutely bomb-proof structure so that it optically would be perfect. So it's XYZ optics. It's the best optics on the planet. Impact for high velocity and high mass, uh, X-Metal product exceeds the, the ANSI standards for that. Exceeds it probably by a factor of 10. We offer a special piece of jewelry that will last your lifetime and all of your children's lifetimes. It'll never degrade. It's incredible. It's unlike anything else.